Hello and welcome to the Energy Brief with Peter. Have you ever stopped to think about the incredible power of the sun? It may seem like a constant, burning ball of fire in the sky, but did you know that the energy it produces is actually the result of a process called nuclear fusion? Today, we're discussing the recent breakthrough in nuclear fusion energy and its potential implications. The U.S. Department of Energy announced a major breakthrough in nuclear fusion technology. Scientists at the California-based Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory's National Ignition Facility NIF, successfully generated a net energy gain, using nuclear fusion in a lab for the first time. Before we go deep into this development, let's talk about what nuclear fusion is. In simple terms. Nuclear fusion is the process of combining atomic nuclei to form a heavier nucleus, releasing a large amount of energy in the process. It is the process that powers the sun and other stars, and it has the potential to be a nearly limitless source of clean energy for use on Earth. The conditions required for nuclear fusion to occur are extremely high, and it has proven to be a technically challenging process to achieve on Earth. However, if it can be successfully harnessed, nuclear fusion has the potential to provide a nearly limitless source of clean energy. So, what are the potential implications of nuclear fusion energy development? First, nuclear fusion has the potential to provide a virtually limitless source of energy. The fuel required for fusion reactions, mainly hydrogen, is abundant and widely available, making it a potentially sustainable energy source. In addition, nuclear fusion is a clean energy source because its creation does not emit greenhouse gases. Its major byproduct is helium, an inert, non-toxic gas which is short-lived compared to the waste produced by traditional nuclear power. Nuclear fusion is also a potentially safer energy source. Fusion reactions do not produce the long-lived and highly radioactive waste that is produced by traditional nuclear power, and the risk of a fusion reactor melting down is very low. Fusion reactions are also much less vulnerable to external events, such as accidents or natural disasters, than traditional nuclear power. The fuel for fusion reactions is not stored on site, and the reactions do not produce the same type of dangerous radioactive waste. However, there are also potential challenges and risks associated with the development of nuclear fusion as an energy source. These include the technical and engineering challenges of developing a practical and economically viable fusion reactor, as well as the potential risks associated with handling the fuels and materials used in fusion reactions. On December 5, 2022, NIF scientists conducted the first controlled fusion experiment in history in which more energy was produced from fusion than the laser energy used to drive it, meaning they achieved net energy gain using nuclear fusion. Why is this special? The most electricity scientists have been able to generate from fusion is 59 megajoules of energy over 5 seconds. That is about enough electricity to run a small light bulb for 2 months. For decades, scientists have pumped more energy into experimental fusion reactors than the total new energy created in the process. Now, achieving a net energy gain means the nuclear fusion reactor created more new energy than the laser energy used to pump it. Nuclear fusion, if successful on a large scale, could reduce our dependence on fossil fuel and its power could meet global energy needs more than that of common renewable energy sources. Overall, it is an exciting area of research and development that has the potential to shape the future of energy production. Who knows, maybe one day we'll all be able to power our homes and businesses with the clean, limitless energy of nuclear fusion. Thanks for tuning in to the Energy Brief with Peter. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest developments in the world of energy.